how fast can you go at Daytona with the 2018 Aston Martin Vent GTE when you have 21 upgrades on board? Of course, 21 upgrades significant because that's what you need to uh, complete the limited time series. Right. So um, I have the target speed of 320.8 kph but that's really irrelevant in this case i just want to see how fast like what kind of top speed can you get right so if you want to not struggle with these number one thing to do is make sure you don't have any of the assists on that will especially brake assist it does not trust your braking point so it goes into sort of a what I, I call it this the car goes into a sort of a self-preservation mode and it does not want to crash so it's going to do anything and everything its power to try to slow you down when it thinks uh, it's not certain that you can handle the speed but anyway um, earlier on I did manage to get up to 331 was the last uh, attempt that I tried here and that's as far as as fast as I was able to go so let's see uh, if I can do any better than 331 this time and the key here is that you can almost go through the it's chicane with a lot of speed without braking. Obviously, you do want to brake before you head into the chicane, but uh, once you are going in, you're going flat out. 331, 332. Alright, so 332 is possible. Or 333. Perfectly even number there. Well, as in even, as in not even number, but um, no decimal point. <laughs> so, um, there you go. You can do a lot more than the target that uh, we're given here. Now, if you have target that's higher than 333, my suggestion is to lose constantly until you bring... Um, the slowest spot in your vision, in your target. So that would be like low 300s, as you can see here. Moises Gabby 303. Yeah, that we can beat easily, right? So there you go. So hopefully that helps if you're struggling on this um, challenge to get through here. You can do a lot higher than the you know, my initial run. So in this case, I got up to 333. But, uh, you know what? Let's try one more time and see if we can figure out exactly. Of course, if you're having struggled even then, what you can do is you can turn around at the beginning and extend that straight even longer. Then I have a feeling you might be able to hit uh, 335 and beyond. So, now uh, let's check this out. Going backwards, I'm already able to set the uh, first place speed. So yeah, that chicane, this car is so grippy. How far can we get back and go flat out? Um, I don't know. How about we start at the end of these uh, banners on the right, so next to the kind of a Toyota sign, and we'll go flat out from here. Will the car hold through the chicane? Well, I guess we'll find out. And the answer is yes. Oh my goodness. That is scary good grip. Oh my. You think I'll hit more than 333? I think so. This one's even better than the last one, I think. 
It's that we can go further. Or oh, maybe not as... So if you just crash on 335, is that what I got? So there you go. Different ways to uh, complete this challenge and get by, right? So hopefully, uh, this gives you guys, uh, if you're struggling, obviously if you're not struggling, then good for you. Um, so just wanted to uh, do this quick video here so um, you understand how to how to get around i guess so good luck and we'll see you in the next video all right take care guys